us with us this evening, the Clan, the Dynamite Kid, the Assassin, and Rip the Crippler Oliver. I've got a lot of things I've got to say, and I'm going to say them fast. I've come out here week after week. I've issued challenges for anybody to come in here in this bull rope match. A Rose, Henning, Billy Jack, Madrill, Strongbow, all you boys always want the match with us. Rose, you always said you want a title match. Dynamite give you a title match. You never accepted a bull rope match with Oliver. You never accept any kind of match a clan wants. Oh, y'all want is what you want. You never want what the clan wants. Well, Dynamite's got something he wants to give you, Buddy Rose. Tell it, Dynamite. Let me tell you something, Buddy Rose. When I was in the Japan with you, Tokyo, you used to be standing in front of the mirror, combing your hair doing all that, eh? You told me that's how you got the girls. You had the looks, you had the, you know, the golden locks, like the white hair, you know, the bleached blonde, right? You told me all about this. He said, kid, he said, one way to get girls is to just get a nice blonde haircut, you know, get just, you know, it looks great, fantastic, the girls go for everything. Well, let me tell you something, Rose. I'm sick and I'm tired of you. Now, I've got a match for you. Now, listen to this and listen good. I am challenging you to a hair match. Loser gets shaved off, okay? Because I'm sick and I'm tired of you and your girls, all those playgirls, all those sluts, what you have. I'm sick and tired of it, Rose. Now, I'm challenging you. I want to match with you. And if you refuse this match, you'll never, I'm telling you, you'll be the biggest laugh in this territory. Everybody's going to laugh at you, Rose, because I, the Dynamite Kid, is the best, he's the champion. He should have wrestled the world champion, Rose, but I don't know, he got swindled out of that. But anyway, I'm challenging you right now, Rose, to a hair match. Come on. And Billy Jack running around. You think you outsmart the assassin? The assassin has outsmarted you, Billy Jack. Just remember this, brother. It was me. It was me that wrapped that chair around your neck about two months ago in the shower room. It was the assassin that put you down, and it was you that took the ride in the ambulance to the hospital. So you better watch out how you chase the assassin in Salem, Eugene, anywhere, Portland. Brother, the assassin will leave you laying in the ground again, and you'll have another trip on Rip's carryout service, boy. Like I said, Savage, we're, everybody's issued us challenges. Now, how about accepting some of ours, boys? Rose, I'd like to see you go around here with a big, fat, bald head. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the clan. <clears throat> boy, oh boy, he's challenging to a hair match. I'll have to come back and see that one. Last week, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we made mention of the fact that uh, I had a special announcement to make tonight. Uh, it's going to come as a surprise to many and uh, not so much of a surprise to quite a few. On behalf of Portland Wrestling, on behalf of my partner Don Owen and Tommy Peterson and the whole gang, I've been with you 16 years. I started here in 1969. When I first came down here, you hated me, then you grew to love me, and then the love affair blossomed. Over the years, I've gotten into the promotional end of the business and been to the announcing end of it with my partner Don Cox. And uh, I really appreciate all the things the people of the state of Oregon and Washington have done for me. However, Folks, after 25 years in this business, I've decided to hang it up. I am going to quit. I am retiring. This is my last show tonight. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done for me over the years. Incidentally, you'll be seeing me around the Northwest. I'm going to be going to work for a friend of mine. His name is Jesus Christ. And I'm going to be going to work for the Seventh-day Adventist Church, the Oregon Conference, in Drugs and Alcohol Rehabilitation. It's a real challenge for me. I hope you wish me well. Uh, I've looked forward to this for quite a long time. And I'm really happy about it. Don't be sad. There's going to be somebody else to take my place. You've got a great announcer here in Don Cost. In 16 years, folks, I've loved you. I've hated you. <laughs> I've done everything I possibly can for you. Wish me well. Maybe, God willing, I'll get to see you sometime in the near future. Especially want to thank Tom Peterson for being a sponsor of one of the greatest wrestling cards and shows in the entire United States of America. God love you, and good night, Willa. Thanks a lot. Touch. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss you a lot. 16 years in professional wrestling. You had a lot to this profession. As a professional wrestler, as an announcer, as an assistant matchmaker, 
everything you've been in. And for 16 years, you made one of this one of the hot spots in the nation in professional wrestling. And you had a lot to do with it. And Tom Peterson, personally, the wrestling fans have brought something here that you can take away with you, just a small, small token in what you've done over the years. But Dutch, you're really going on a task. You're going on the you real, you're on the real journey today. You're going full-time work for the Lord, and I think that's great, and God bless you. God bless you. Thanks come on, buddy. Charlie, right here. There, right there. Oh, you're kidding. There you are, right oh, there. Come on, Tom. It's your. You're kidding. Oh, my goodness. A Fisher video recorder for a great guy. Bless your heart. Thank you, Dodge. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Why don't you drop this? <laughs> right, uh, there you are. You're really sick. Let me go get to my suit. All right. Thank you, Dodge. Thanks, Don. Okay. Oh. I guess back to Don. Thank you, Tom. Uh, isn't that great, huh? <laughs> and we'll be right back. We'll be right back right after this. What a guy. <laughs> Dutch just opened the card that we got him. Here's Don Owen. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be the best two out of three falls to our TV time limit. Be for the Northwest Heavyweight Championship. Introducing in this corner the challenger from Las Vegas, Buddy Rose. His opponent, the defending title holder in this corner, the Dynamite Kid. And the referee for our main event, Nas National Wrestling Alliance referee, Sandy Barr. Dynamite Kid, Buddy Rose. Oh. And our congratulations to Dutch Steph. What he has given this sport of wrestling over the past 25 years cannot be measured. Thank you very much. I've got a card here from my friend Don. It says, congratulations, you're now entitled to wear this modest symbol of success. You open the card up and it's a medal that says, I done real good. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to wear that thing. Playboy Buddy Rose in center ring. A dynamite kid in the blue with a gray stripe down the side. Fans, don't touch that dial. Wake up and watch this one. This is going to be a barn burner. You better believe it is. Oh, these men want each other in the worst way, and that's probably the way they'll get each other. Newly crowned Pacific Coast heavyweight champion, the Dynamite Kid, against the challenger Playboy Buddy Rose. There's an arm drag by Mr. Rose. Hey, this was for the... For the belt, too, right? You got it. No, he, uh, Dynamite's got it. But, uh, <laughs> but Rose wants it. He dumped that Dynamite kid unceremoniously with an arm drag. Kid just gave him a very hard look. There's a leg dive by Rose. Kick off. Oh, Rose, oh. cartwheels out of the way, and Dynamite sits very embarrassed on the mat. That's very embarrassing when a guy sidesteps you like that. That's a patented move by Buddy Rose. Famous cartwheel. You know, I was. We're gonna. I'm gonna need a a, a videotape recorder. In the, in the work I'm going into, it's uh, gonna be most of it for charity, and we we're praying about that. And look what Tom Peterson did. Isn't that great? Isn't that beautiful? Uh, That's really something. Well, it's That's given beautiful. out of it's given out of uh, gratitude and appreciation. Uh, yes, Dutch. yes, yes, yes. And a whole lot of love in there. Buddy Rose, Dynamite Kid with a side headlock on Rose. Probably one of the fastest men to come in the Pacific Northwest in years. He's a little smaller than Jimmy Snuka. He's a little faster, believe it or not, than Jimmy Snuka, but probably one of the fastest men in years to come in here. You're looking at him. He's being shot off of a headlock by Playboy Buddy. That's the Dynamite Kid. Yeah. Coming at you, center screen. Jumps over Playboy Buddy Rose. Rose, we've oh. him. We've lost Monkey Clip. And the Dynamite Kid gets set down. Rose goes in for a loose ass body slam. And the Dynamite Kid kicks out. He hits the rope. 
Look out. Look out. Victory roll by Buddy Rose Blake for a pin. Two count. And a dynamite kid rolls out. Oh, Woo! man, oh, man. We're going 90 miles an hour here. Did you see that leapfrog that Rose did? He was. He must have gone over six feet in the uh, air. You ought to try to commentate on that. Why weren't you doing that? I was watching. <laughs> but you were, you done, you done real good, though. Oh my. I'll have a little test of strength. Uh, not too uh, too long. Dynamite Kid isn't uh, he's about close to six foot tall, but he has a tremendously strong upper body on him. He's very resilient. There's no body fat there, folks. That's solid meat and muscle. Take a good look at that upper body on that young man. Absolutely right. A lot of power. Oh, Rose. And a try for a pin by Rose. Dynamite Kid says, where'd you learn that one? That looks like a British move. <laughs> that was great how Rose hooked him in there and just flipped him around. Come to think of it, that was an English move. Main event time, Portland Wrestling. In case you just tuned in, Dynamite Kid, Buddy Rose. Dynamite Kid, Pacific Coast Champion, title on the line. Buddy Rose, challenger, trying to strip the champion of his title. KPTV, Channel 12, Portland Wrestling. Here's a uh, left-handed slap by Buddy Rose. Well, the kid certainly does like that. Another slap by Rose. And another one. Here's, oh. I think Dynamite Kid's going to He's about to explode. But he's being exploded upon by Buddy Rose. This one's for the belt. There's a whip. Oh, back. Oh, he, oh, he hit those cables with his ankle. He's lucky he didn't break his leg. Oh, there's Hard a... knee right to the forehead of the Dynamite Kid by Rose. Try for a pin. We have a two count. Almost three. Dynamite Kid extremely resilient for his size. Well, you're right. He's like he didn't break his uh, his leg coming in and landing on that rope like that. And he flew halfway across the ring. Oh, the kid's coming back with the right hand. There's a forearm. Uh-oh. Into the turnbuckle. Now there's a whip. Into the other. Oh, you see that oh. ring move that time? We're going to have to set that ring back on its standard. Headbutt. Boy, the kid delivers a good headbutt himself. Now the crowd chanting, we want Buddy, and Rose rolls over. After getting a two count. Oh, man. This is four on. Oh, that'll, that'll, that'll shake your shorts. Getting that cable across the front of you and being whipped back by it. Two count. Ooh, two and a half. The crowd's still chanting for Buddy Rose. And the Dynamite Kid's got him. Sandy Barr keeping a close eye on that. This one is for the heavyweight championship of the Northwest. A belt that the Dynamite Kid currently holds. He took the belt from Kurt Hennig couple months ago. No, oh, no, buddy. The adrenaline starts flowing again. Oh, man. Well, this place is jumping tonight for this match. I see people from Portland, from Milwaukee, from Gresham, from Vancouver, Washington, from Orchards. There's a couple people over there I know. There's Rhiellyn and there's Charlotte and Dick. Oh, my goodness. Fans from all over the Pacific Northwest for this one tonight, folks. And that's Buddy Rose outside the ring on a concrete. You got to be extremely careful when you're wrestling a dynamite kid. You take a look at him when you first get in the ring with him. You think, well, he's not that tough looking, not that big looking. But I'll tell you something. 
That young man grows on you in one terrible hurry. Yeah, he's doing a little growing on Buddy Rose right now. Planted Buddy almost in the front row down here. Buddy, uh, Buddy caught part of his uh, rib cage coming off of the, uh, the rope. He hit part of the apron there. None of my kids, some of his laurels. He was a British Empire heavyweight champion. There's a reversal by Buddy Rose on the turnbuckle. And Buddy left hand, Dynamite Kid face first in that turnbuckle. There's a left hand jab. Buddy, of course, being left handed. No! Oh, oh, that. My goodness! Now, Buddy going for a pin. One, two, and the kid kicks out. Dynamite Kid one held, once held the international belt. One time he's the junior light heavyweight champion of the world. He's had all kinds of laurels. Now he's a Pacific Coast heavyweight champion. And that's what's at stake tonight, folks, the championship. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> Boy, he's lucky he didn't catch him with that fist when he went by. Hit him with a forearm right across the chest. There he is. Look. We don't have to worry about the ring. It just moved back. You, uh, 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 you got that right. You can see where the kid's back is red. I mean, that, oh, and now it goes back the other way. You got it. Oh, and both men going at this thing, just tooth and nail, Doc. This is war, out and out war. Oh! A, a drop kick off the corner of the rope there. And the kid just got a two count. Oh, oh, oh. Drop that knee right on his jaw. There's a two count. The kid kicks out again. Can you believe that? Rose is thinking, what do I have to do to this guy? Oh, that may have been a little low. There's a headbutt. And he's got Buddy wrapped up in the rope there. Buddy tried to get his arms free, reached up to try to get him out, and that cable snapped him right in there, sucking him right into the cable. Bar oh. right there. Bar gets him out. Rose is kind of groggy. Oh, there's a big chop. Oh, that lifted him right up off yeah, his feet. Good. There's a body slam coming at you. Center screen. Ooh. Hard right hand by the kid. The kid's going outside. He's going up to the top rope. Yeah. He's going to fly. There he comes. Look at this. Oh, right alongside ahead of Buddy oh, Rose. Oh, that's got to do it. That has got to do it. One, two. Yeah, that's He's it. He's got him. There's Eight. your first fall, folks. First ball goes to the champion, Dynamite Kid, over the challenger, Playboy, Buddy Rose. We'll be right back after this. And of course, this is going to be a review of what's going on throughout the entire Pacific Northwest. And it's going to, you're going to have a lot of action going on, just like you saw out there. And we're not through yet by a long way. This is our main event, Dynamite Kid against challenger playboy buddy rose we're going to take a minute or so now to let you know what is going on throughout the pacific northwest starting with tomorrow okay tomorrow longview washington mark morris high school gym monday seaside oregon the seaside convention center west virginia coal miners glove match roseburg tuesday at the fairgrounds medford at the armory on wednesday night salem at the grand theater thursday friday eugene oregon Lane County Fairgrounds. Saturday, we're back here in Portland again. And next Sunday, we're in Montesino, Washington at the Junior High School Gym. Oh, you did that good on your last night. Wow. We'll be right back. Don't go away right after this. Thank you very much. You done good. Assassin, you outsmarted me. I got your mask off, but you had all this nylon and stuff around your face, and what I understand, no one recognized you. Now you're issuing, you're issuing a challenge to me for next Saturday. But well, last night in Eugene, when Oliver ran me with a thumb, and I got a knee or a headbutt by you right across my throat, and I can barely talk again, Dutch. Now you don't think I forget? There's still something in your mask. I don't know what it is. You did, you did win what we did, but take a look at this close up. You know, I'm getting fed up. 
And I've been wrestling a year now. I'm tired. I'm fed up of everything. You want to match with me? Hey, you better be ready. Because Billy Jack is ready and tired of all the baloney now. So anytime you want to go right now, let's go. Because I can't wait till Saturday night to get your butt. If we want to do it later, I don't care either. Because the people here are going to back me up all the way. And there you have it, fans. Accepting the challenge of the assassin for next Saturday night. Assassin, <laughs> I hope your insurance is paid up. Kurt. Yes, first of all, I'd like to apologize to all the people about last week coming out and raising my voice. That's not like Kurt Hennig. I've got all my things together now. I'm on my way to Germany. This will be my last TV. When I'm Dynamite Kid, you're the man of my mind. When I get back, I'm not going to Pearl Harbor you. I'm not going to sneak up on you. I'm facing you face to face in the ring, and we're going to get it done, whether you got the belt or not. When I get you in the phone, now, so I don't care what it is. It's going to be like Rice Krispies. Snap, crackle, pop. Oh, and we'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Tuned in late. Our main event. First fall went to the Dynamite Kid over Buddy Rose. We're getting ready for our second fall. They're both in the ring. Here comes the referee, Sandy Barr. There's the bell. Oh, there's a boot right off the bat. Dynamite starting out where he left off. Rose is still a little shook. Oh, another headbutt. The competition in professional wrestling gets stiffer and stiffer and stiffer oh. every year. There's a suplex by Dynamite in the right hand in the chest area. He's trying Dynamite to wrap this thing up hurt, fast. He? Yeah. He's trying to wrap it up fast. What a great match for your last night, huh, Dutch? That's beautiful. Other fans have been coming up saying, we hope you don't retire. Well, I'm retiring, folks. And I'm going to be marching to the beat of a different drummer from now on. Appreciate all the many wonderful years I have with you. And I love you. Anybody out there that has a problem with drugs or alcohol, and I can give them any kind of help. I am a former drug addict and a former alcoholic. Let me know. See if I can help you out. Well, we certainly wish you the best, partner. Thank you, Don. Well, I'm sure going to miss you. Yeah. I can't believe Tom. I really can't. That's an answer to a prayer. And <laughs> I wouldn't sell it. Somebody said, I'll buy it from you. You only got $4.99 on a sale. I know what the thing's worth. You couldn't buy that off me for all the love in China. All the tea in China. Yeah, or if there's any left over there. Or all the love in Boston or something. I'll treasure that for a long time. Look at the dynamite kid. He's twisting uh, Rose's head in a manner that uh, heads don't normally uh, turn. Well, this Riff Oliver is a pretty shrewd dude. Now, you know he's the leader of the clan. You got the dynamite kid in there as a champion now. And through manipulation and leadership, River got him this title shot, and he, and he beat Henning for the title. Now he's the champion. Rose is trying to get it from him. But Oliver's pretty shrewd. While the Dynamite Kid is pummeling and working on Buddy Rose, Oliver figures that that'll soften Rose up in case Rose decides to come after him. If the Dynamite can cripple him up, that'll yep. be one less man that Oliver has to contend with. The Assassin's in on it, too. Rip Oliver and his hitman. <laughs> That's right. That's for sure. Rose has got a hold of the kid's face. He's got a face lock on him. A face lock my eye. He had him by the schnozola. Right on the head, a finger of his nose lock then. There comes the face first right into the turnbuckle. Maybe that was a vapor lock hold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he oh. just jammed him right smack on a bean with that. Son of my kid's been cut. I think I see some blood on his forehead. I'm not quite sure. Over his eye? Well, he's Maybe I'm off. Should be Rose now. is going to town on him. Rose going crazy on him. Look at that. Look at that. One right after another. One, two. Oh, the kid kicked I out. don't believe it. I thought we were going to be. Yeah, Rose doesn't believe it either. 
Yeah, he is yeah, cut. You bet he's cut. Center forward. Arm whip reversible by Dynamo. Oh! He elbowed right, right smack in the chops. He got a, he got an elbow right in the chops to Buddy Rhodes. Uh, he's a little groggy himself going up the top row. Buddy Rhodes getting to his feet. Rhodes is going to help him down. He's got him hooked. He's going to suplex him from there. Look out! Oh. Oh, look. That's got to be it, Doc. That's got to be it. That is it. Five, Three. Five. Winner of the second fall. This battle is all even in a fall apiece for the Pacific Coast Heavyweight Championship. The winner, second fall, Buddy Rose. Yes. We'll be back right after this. It's our double rose. You know. It's been a long time coming. Everybody would love to be the Northwest Heavyweight Champion. And everybody in the world that wrestles would love to be the world's heavyweight champion. Now, Harley Race is coming to the Northwest, or whoever is the champion at that time will be here. So far, let's say it's you, Harley Race, because you're the champion. I wrestled Ric Flair four times here over the last two years. And all four times I never lost. They always kept their belt on a fluke. Don't get me wrong. These guys are great wrestlers and they're great champions. And anybody in that dressing room could give the world champion a run for his money. But I've never been on this side of the fence to go against the world's heavyweight champion. Every time the people have been against me, if I went against the champion, would you people be for me? Okay, now Dynamite Kid, you said you should get a championship match because you're the champion. Okay, I agree. Then the Dynamite Kid said he would like to have a hair match with me. All right, I did lose one time and I won six other hair matches. I wore a mask and nobody ever saw me with short hair. Dynamite Kid, next week, I will let you know if I want to have a hair match with you because I want to see what happens tonight with you and I. That'll help me make up my mind. Another thing, Oliver, you're saying everybody's running from your bull rope match. Oliver, we're not stupid. You think we're going to go in there and step through the ropes and accept a match of your caliber? Because let me tell you something. If the people want it, we'll do it. If they don't want it, we won't do it. We're not stupid, Oliver. I'll tell you what, though. Someday, some way, somebody will accept. And it might just be me. It might be Billy Jack. It might be Henny. It might be Strongbow. It might be anybody. But when they do, it'll be the right time and the time to put you down six feet under, Rip Oliver. Now, Dynamite Kid. I'm going to try to make my decision on that hair match right now. Okay, there you have it. He may, he may not accept the hair match. He's going to get back in the ring with the Dynamite Kid for the Pacific Coast Heavyweight Championship. Third and fall action. kid he's your, leaving right now excuse me your coffee's ready uh, thank you tom tom peterson for that nice gesture and that wonderful gift appreciate it tom boy what a match this has been this is dutch's retirement night and uh, one of these wrestlers is going to be <laughs> retiring here after this fall this is for the belt the Northwest Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The belt currently held, of course, by the Dynamite Kid. We have had ourselves one heck of a main event so far. I want to thank Mrs. Kennedy for the nice gift I just received up here. Handmade, too, by golly. Thank you. She's from Vancouver. Oh, what a move by 
is Playboy Buddy Rose. One of his specialty suplexes. Going to do it again. Watch this. Oh. That was kind oh. of a, that was a dynamite oh. inside suplex. Now that's how you throw a suplex on. Did you see how fast Dynamite hit the mat before Rose came down? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Bang! That's how you snap. That's a snap suplex. <laughs> We've got about... That two. Englishman, I swear. Reminds me of another, another Englishman that used to be a great one here, retired here and living in Portland, Johnny Eagle. Look at this. Look at oh, look out! Oh, that ought to put his back out. Oh, Buddy caught part of that, too. Yeah, Buddy caught part of that on the back of his head. Dynamite Kid has lost the top part of his uh, outfit. There he goes, an arm whip into the rope. Oh, that's a mid-ring collision. Oh, he hit he hit Buddy on alongside the ear there. Buddy's got his arm over the kid. Oh, I thought we had a new champion. They're both out of it. I thought we had a new champion. Boy, that was extremely, extremely close. Buddy was uh, very much aware of what was going on. He just didn't have the energy to get up and do anything else about it. Kid tried for a small package. Rose double crossed him and put a small package on of his own. There's a backslide by Rose. One, two, and oh, that was close. Rose knows that if uh, this goes to a tie here, the belt will stay with the Dynamite There's Kid. There's a try for a leg pin. Ooh, ouch, ouch. I remember those very well. Yeah, that'll ring your bell. Ring your bell and dig in your child. Oh, the forearm across the, the back neck. of the neck. Four minutes remaining, four minutes. Yeah, we've only got about four minutes to go in our main event. Buddy Rose slumped in the corner over there. Dynamite Kid working on him. Dynamite Kid's going for a two-play. Look at that. Look how fast that is. Kaboom. Kid's uh, going up to the top rope. Oh, he's going upstairs. From the top rope. He's going to fly. Out. Look, he's out of sight. Oh, now. look out. He came down on his knee, on part of his elbow, and on nothing but the mat. This is for all the marbles. We're going right down to the wire with this one. Rose got a chance for a pin if he can do it. He's a new Pacific Coast heavyweight champion. Dynamite Kid's very groggy at this time. Rose reaches in for a leg dive, goes over. He's going to try for a figure four leg scissors. Sits oh, down on it. it. He's got it hooked on him. Now, if the Dynamite gives up, we have a new champion. Dynamite rolling over on his belly. This could, oh, he's going to roll him into he the rope. He made it into the ropes. He has to break that hole. Too bad. I think we would have had it right there, Dutch, if he hadn't you rolled into the rope. But he's going to try everything he can right now to get that belt. Right in the calf muscle. Now he's going to try to get... No. Oh, he's going to whip that leg. Oh. oh! Put that foot in the groin and lean back on that... Put that muscle behind the back of your leg. It's called a hamstring, isn't hamstring, it? Hamstring. You bet it is. When he gets done, it's going to be a violin string. <laughs> <laughs> Step over Soho, trying to inflict pain on that left leg. I think he's got dynamite hurt. Dynamite refusing to give up. But he's turning that ankle inside. Oh. I think he's done a number on that leg. The kid's going to rake across uh, Rose's face. Yeah, right across the bridge of the nose. Now, I don't think Kid's going to be getting to his feet too swiftly here. That left leg's got to be partially paralyzed. Yeah, Rose, but he's still working on it. There's another smash. Uh, kid comes back with a forearm in the back. Oh, boy, he caught him on the inside of that leg. Yeah. That was questionable. Sandy Bar right there on top said it was perfectly legitimate. That stopped Dynamite Cole. There's a drop kick oh, by Buddy Rose. No. Try. There's a Dynamite going over to Boston Crab. This is a submission hold. Rose isn't giving up. No, he's not. No, 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 he says. No, no, no. Dynamite got that crab hooked in pretty good. Buddy's going to try to break him up out of it. Again. Tremendous strength in his leg, Rose has. Got huge thigh muscles. The crowd's getting on, Buddy. Come on, Buddy. Look, look at the power that the kid's putting on that thing, Duck. You see it in his face. What's, uh, what's keeping Buddy going there? Buddy broke it. He turned him over. No, no. no his, three his legs are outside. No, 
Oh, Barnes shaking it off. Barnes no. shaking it off. He saw the dynamite kid for legs in a rope. We're going for a reversal on a victory roll. Oh, dynamite no. Dynamite kid holds Buddy Rose's trunk and pins him. Buddy, Buddy doesn't know quite what's happened here. He, he didn't was, see it. He wasn't ready for that. He thought he had him pinned. The kid was in the ropes. Everybody saw it in the building. Dynamite kid got the hold broken. He snuck in behind Buddy. Small packaged him in a victory roll for a winner. He won the match. What? And still champion from England, the Dynamite Kid. Buddy just didn't know what happened. Buddy turned his back on everything because he thought he'd won. But the Dynamite Kid had his legs outside the bottom rope. And he got up and caught Buddy from behind, rolled him over, and pinned him. And the champion, still champion, the Dynamite Kid. We will be right back with more right after this. Don't you dare go away. Wow. How would you like to get a special deal? Going against you this next Saturday, Assassin, you and Billy Jack in the main event here at the Portland Sports Arena. You heard Billy Jack, I hear Billy Jack, I love it. Listen to your voice, huh? You say Oliver hit you with your thumb, you felt that head right across your throat, huh? Well, let me tell you something, Billy Jack, next Saturday night, you're going to take a free ride on Oliver's stretcher straight out of the building and into an ambulance and straight to a hospital, boy. You haven't forgotten the last time I wrapped a chair around your neck. Huh, Billy Jack? You want to get it on? We'll get it on. And I'm doing it especially for the leader of the clan. And I think there's no way I'm going to see dynamite running around here with no ball head. <laughs> you heard him. There's action going all over the whole Northwest. Longview tomorrow. Seaside Monday, then we'll go down to Roseburg Tuesday, Medford Wednesday. We've got action all over the Northwest. Salem Thursday, Eugene Friday. We've got a big tag match down in Eugene. Let me tell everybody something in the Northwest. It don't matter where we go, if, it's, if it is Longview or if it's Seaside or, or if, if it's back, right back here in Portland next Saturday, there's going to be a lot of crippling going on. There's going to be some boys hurt. We done got to the point we've been embarrassed. But the embarrassment part is over. Now it's time to start crippling, and Rip Oliver's clan is going to start doing it. It don't matter where it's at. It could be in Medford, or it could be in Roseburg, Seaside, or Longview. Right here in Portland next Saturday, though, Billy Jack, you're going to find out what the sass is all about, baby, because he's going to take care of you. <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Next Saturday night, the assassin against Billy Jack. Buddy Rose, I think, is getting awful angry with the dynamite kid. And on behalf of myself and Portland Wrestling, I'll see you sometime, folks, but Don, you're going to have to carry on. I know you're going to do it. Just take, it take us home, Don. Well, I'll tell you, partner, the best of luck to you, and I'm sure going to miss you. Man, oh, man. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. This is Don Toss, along with Dutch Stoppers. Stoppers, and he's got these two rabbits he just shot. He walks in there, and he asks, asks the taxidermist if he can have these two rabbits stuffed. And the taxidermist says, well, wouldn't you rather have them mounted? He said, no, no, holding hands will be fine. The 208 came into the store, bought three bananas. As they started out, one of the sisters turned to the other and said, well, sis, what are we going to do with the third banana? She said, well, hell, we can always eat it. And the night before the circus opens, the lion tamer dies. So the manager puts an ad in the L.A. Times for a lion tamer. The next day, they have three applicants, two guys and this beautiful 21-year-old girl. They walk to where the lines are kept, and the manager says to the two men, I hope you guys don't mind. Why don't we give the girl the first crack at the line? The guy says, hey, we don't give a shit. Go ahead. So the girl goes into the line cage, picks up the chair and the whip, walks over to where the line is kept, hits the line on the edge. The line jumps up. 